Welcome to this service of prayer hosted by The Upper Room. I'm Claire McKeever Burgett, and I get to work with the Academy for Spiritual Formation, which is an international ministry of The Upper Room. We create transformative space for people to connect with God, self, others, and creation for the sake of the world. We're really glad you're here. So we usually gather together in the Upper Room Chapel to pray with and on behalf of the world. During this global crisis, we gather here, online, still together, though safely apart. It is a privilege to pray with you each day. Wherever you are right now, at home, in a hospital room, at work, whether you're alone or gathered with a lot of people, Know that God is with you. Please share your joys and concerns with us and the Upper Room community in the comments section so that we can continue to pray with each other. As we begin our service, I invite you to take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Soften your shoulders away from your ears. Root your feet into the earth. Settle in and down. Feel God's love wrapped around you, with you always. The opening song that I will share here comes from my friend Don Schlosser, who's given me permission to share it and sing it with you this morning. The words are inspired by Julian of Norwich. All is made in the love of God. All endures in the love of God. We are here in the love of God. We are here in the love of God. The opening prayer is from the Upper Room Worship Book and it will be posted in the comments. I invite you to join me in praying it together this morning. New every morning is your love, great God of light. And all day long you are working for good in the world. Stir up in us desire to serve you, to live peacefully with our neighbors and all your creation, and to devote each day to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our scripture today is from Psalm 66, verses 8 through 22. This comes from the Inclusive Language Bible. Bless Yahweh, all you peoples. Let the sound of God's praise be heard. God has kept us among the living and has not let our feet slip. For you have tested us, O God. You have refined us as silver is refined. You put us in prisons and laid burdens on our backs. You let people ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, and you brought us to a place of abundance and space. I will come to your house with burnt offerings. I will pay my vows to you, the ones my lips uttered and my mouth promised when I was in trouble. I will present you burnt offerings of fatlings with the smoke of burning rams. I will make an offering of bulls and goats. Come and hear all who revere God, and I will tell what the Holy One has done for me. I cried aloud to God, and praise was on my tongue. If I had nursed evil in my heart, God would not have listened. But God did listen, and heeded the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, who has not rejected my prayer or stopped loving me. This is the word of life. Thanks be to God. Now I invite us to take a few moments to pray with our senses. 
You may have seen versions of this practice shared as a way to ground yourself when feeling anxious and charged, worried and afraid. Personally, I practice it at least once a day to remind myself that all of the things that I worry about haven't happened yet. It helps me come back to right here, right now, to what is true. As we go through each sense, you may want to jot down what you smell and touch and hear and see and taste, just as a reminder of groundedness and love throughout your day. So let's pray together with our senses. First, take a moment to breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. As you breathe, you might close your eyes. I just invite you to notice one thing that you can smell. Take another deep breath as you smell. Next, take a moment to touch something. You may touch your heart or your face. Maybe the chair or the bed that you're sitting on, or maybe your dog or your cat, maybe a pillow or a cushion. Take a deep breath as you touch. Next, take a moment to hear something. Maybe you hear a bird or your baby laughing or the hum of your dishwasher or a car driving by. Take a deep breath as you listen. Next, take a moment to look around. What is it that you see? Does it have color, texture, nuance? Take a deep breath as you practice seeing. And finally, what is it that you taste? Maybe breakfast still lingers or you take a sip of your tea or your coffee or your water. Maybe you simply just pause to notice your mouth. Take a deep breath as you notice something you can taste. The psalmist sings, taste and see that the Lord is good. And this is the day we are given. Let us rejoice and be glad. Jesus, our teacher, reminds us that even the birds have what they need for today. The poet Steve Garnis Holmes writes, you will find no path where the beloved has not gone first and found the way. Today, as you taste and see, hear and smell and touch, know that the Lord is good, the Lord provides, the beloved paves the way today. Amen. Join me as we continue to pray with and on behalf of the world offering up our prayers like incense, trusting that God hears. For the sick and the dying, for the birthing and the being born, for the caregivers and the healers, for the sleepless and the anxiety ridden, for the children, for the elderly, for the sinners, for the saints, for the dolphins and the hawks, 
the penguins and the polar bears, for eager leaders and for reluctant ones, for those who need breath, for those who need shelter, for those filing for unemployment, for those who fear for their lives because of the color of their skin, for those keeping our families fed, for those who worry about the food they need for their family. for all the prayers we do not know we need to pray. Hear us, O oh God. Hold us, O oh God. Love us, O oh God. We pray. And now joining together in the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray in whatever language feels most right and true to your soul. Let's pray together. O oh God, our parent, holy is your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today all it is we need. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Redeem us from our troubles and save us from all evil. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. All is made in the love of God. All endures in the love of God. We are here in the love of God. We are here in the love of God. Go in peace to love and serve the world. Amen.